The legend or conspiracy theory of did John Wilkes Booth escape after the assassin of Lincoln began shortly after the assassination of Lincoln. It was controversial back in the day. And we inherited this legend of David E. George, or was he John Wilkes Booth, in 1943 when my grandfather Lloyd Frazee bought the building from the Ginsman Hardware Estate. While it's not an advertised attraction, we had people weekly coming from all over the world, literally, to visit and see the room that they believe that John Wilkes Booth died in. This is a recreation of one of the rooms that was remaining in the Grand Avenue Hotel after it was sold in 1909 and turned into the Ginsman Hardware Company. We have the room furnished with period furniture, just the way it would have been when George lived in this hotel room. While David E. George was spotted in southeast Oklahoma, also known as Little Dixie, El Reno, and even Hennessy, it was Enid that was the end of the line for Mr. George, where he started living upstairs in the Grand Avenue Hotel. By that time, Booth, or George, whichever you believe, was in his mid-60s. Again, this corresponded with the age that Booth would have been had he lived. Since there was no Social Security or any old age support, the story goes that George became despondent that winter morning of January 13, 1903, and went across the street to the drugstore and bought strychnine and then administered it to himself. The story of David E. George, or John Wilkes Booth, uh, is one of the most enduring legends of the Old West, and we're happy to tell you about it here at Garfield Furniture. And uh, you can have a lot of fun learning about history, whether you believe it or not.